Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your singles love reading for Pisces. How are you guys? Pisces. So this is going to be all about your next date and the overall energy surrounding it, what you need to know about this person. I'm not going to go into any major details other than that overall energy, okay? The basics. Your next date and the overall energy surrounding it, Pisces. Your next date and the overall energy surrounding it, Pisces. What do you need to know? There we go. All right. This could be yourself or another person. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. This is someone emotionally available. They hold back a little. They're a little cautious, I feel, at first. And this person def definitely has all the tools, okay? Uh, they've mastered the tools. This person knows. <laughs> they are manifesting, though. I like this energy. Yeah, Eight of Cups. This is someone who's looking for that soulmate. They have all the tools they need, but they're holding back a little. Just a little caution when you first meet this person. Very nice energy. This is something you may have manifested as well. Pisces. What does Pisces need to know? Uh, nice. Ten of Pentacles. Yeah. So I feel we have two people. Very stable. Uh, I feel like you're going to meet someplace where people congregate. It's going to be someplace public. Uh, I feel that you're going to connect very well. You're ma going to manifest each other. I see the seeing eye to eye, talking, communication, sharing some of your feelings, uh, getting to know each other. But I like this energy. Uh, I like this energy of manifesting and moving towards emotional fulfillment, towards something stable. I feel like you're both going to see eye to eye and agree you want a partner, someone you can rely on. Okay, very nice energy. I feel like you're going to go someplace. Somebody here is going to spend a little bit of money as well. <laughs> nice. Yes, very nice energy. So yeah, there is a choice. There is a physical attraction. There is some chemistry here. You're going to kind of be building each other up, you know, and that's an energy of two people who just say nice things, you know, and it's very stable. Uh, I do feel that uh, this chemistry is really good here as well. Yeah, we have a King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Some of you might even have a couple of dates back to back. But I feel this is a someone here. And wherever this person is, for those of you where there's one, their energy is going to flow towards this King of Pentacles. This is one, someone stable, practical, someone who's, you know, built their finances up. This is someone who's ready. They have all the tools, okay? So I feel like it's for most of you, this is just one person. And this is someone who's, you know, been saving their money. They have the bank account. This is someone who's stable. They're ready for a relationship. Okay. This is someone who's definitely ready, but they are a little cautious. They have the tools though. So this is someone who's learned. They know. So I feel like you're both going to be manifesting. This is gathering information, learning about each other. This is manifesting that new beginning. Lovely energy. This person's going to want to see you again. No doubt there. Yeah, so there is going to be this offer, and I do think you're going to be quite shocked and surprised. <laughs> yeah, there's definitely a lot of chemistry. Uh, this is really, really positive, Pisces. Really, really like this energy. I just see two people connecting, sharing feelings, talking. It's stable. You're building each other up. You're saying nice things to each other. It's very grounded. Uh, I see having a pretty good time. You're both offering the same thing. You both are manifesting each other, That uh, this opportunity. So there is this lovely opportunity. I feel this person is going to want to see you again. I think you're going to be surprised how quickly, too. Uh, it will come in out of the blue very sudden. But it's very, this is like a surprise. It's very, uh, very, very positive. I love it when the tower is positive. So let's see what this. Some of you, if you have two people, okay, you may have manifested two. It's possible you could have one person, some of you, who may be a little um, emotionally manipulative, just be a little caution. Some of you may walk away from this person towards somebody more stable, okay, someone more grounded. You see that energy? So you may have a surprise. You may have one date and then have another one come in very quickly. So let's see what this king of chalices is. I feel overall... Um, both people are pretty positive. I just feel that there's someone here. Yeah, someone's got a few insecurities. Uh, you have someone here who's maybe not as financially stable or just maybe insecure. 
So they may manipulate a little bit, okay? I don't feel like in anything really bad. But I feel they have insecurities. Yeah, somebody at a bit of a crossroads. So for some of you, it does look like you're going to date a couple of people back to back. Uh, somebody here is a little cautious. Yeah, they're going to tell you some kind of story. Okay, they may not be the most sincere or they come across that way. They offer one cup, nothing more. So someone who kind of keeps a lot of their feelings to themselves. Okay, so a little caution on that first person. I do feel it's mostly based on insecurities. They, they, they feel like they're maybe not good enough. So uh, watch how you communicate with that person. That, that could be all it is. But I do see this person. Um, yeah, I feel like they might be a little bit emotionally manipulative, like sort of feel sorry for me kind of energy. Okay, so some of you definitely won't go for that. Tell me about this Ten of Pentacles. So, yeah, I do see you making a decision, a choice between two, having two dates, possibly back to back. And I don't see any transition energy. Yet. So there's definitely a king of, or an emperor energy. This is someone who knows what they want here. So you have somebody who's very financially stable, possibly self-made. This is someone who's worked very hard to get where they are. But I see this person coming in out of the blue. I see you making a choice, ending with one person. Yeah, I don't think you're going to get along with one. I can see how this is building. Or you're just not going to be as interested. So you have an emperor here, though. This is someone who knows what they want. They generally, you know, go for it. But I do think this is someone who's uh, definitely stable, self-made, possibly a business owner. This is somebody who's very meticulous, okay? But yeah, there's an opportunity here. You have, you know, you've got two opportunities, this crossroads, this choice between two, kind of which way to go. In fact, you may get an offer from one person and decide not to go for it and go for somebody else. <laughs> yeah. Tell me about the two of cups. Yeah. Slow and steady wins the race. There's someone here that's sincere, somebody not so much. So, but I do think this emperor is holding back a little. They're, you know, somebody who generally goes for it. They could be a Taurus, an Aries, a Scorpio. Uh, this is definitely someone who's sincere, though, making plans. This person is going to want to see you again. And I felt that right away. This is someone who's going to plan to see you again. It's going to come in out of the blue. So there's a positive and somebody with a little negative energy. Tell me about the lovers. Yeah, so you're going to change your mind here. This is interesting. This is someone who's going to keep coming around. Uh, I feel this is, could evolve. This could go somewhere. Uh, but I think you'll change your mind about that first person quite quickly. I actually feel very quickly. So very nice. Tell me about the world. Why is this here? Wanna, yeah, so this is someone who's taming the beast, taking things slow. You see, they're holding back a little. Uh, they don't want to come on too strong is what I feel. They want to show they're sincere. But I see this person hoping to have success. And I feel like it will be. So if, because it's in the heart of the reading, um, make sure that you're in that energy of just taking things slow. It's very it's a very grounded. I feel like you're going to get along with this person. I feel like you'll be quite comfortable. This person's taming that beast, okay? They want this to progress. They want this to go somewhere. So they're not going to be super aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> they have that side. I feel they have that side to them. Nice. A little Mars energy. This person means business, whoever they are. They mean business. And I think you're going to be quite surprised. Some of you are going to have to find the strength to end something with one person. I see you kind of changing your mind uh, after a, a date with one. King of Pentacles. Why is this here? Oops. Yeah, King and Queen of Pentacles energy. Uh, two people investing each other, making each other feel comfortable, being patient, hoping that investment pays off. So I feel some of you, uh, whether you're the King of Pentacles or whether you're the Queen of Pentacles energy, it's two grounded people uh, that want, you know, are looking for a partnership, two people to come together to look out for each other's best interests. So this person has your best interests. Again, you know, they are. Uh, definitely holding back a little, though. But it's really that energy of just taming that beast, knowing to take it slow. Uh, because they want this to evolve. They want it to go somewhere. You're going to definitely uh, not see a future with one person. You're not going to invest in one. You're going to invest in the other person here. So, yeah. So I do see the offer. Okay. That seed being planted. Lovely. This is someone who's going to be coming back around. They're going to keep, you're going to date this person a few times. They're going to show you they're invested by offering you 
you know, another date. It's, it's solid. It's, it's just, you can guarantee this person is going to, uh, this is going to take off. I, I just feel like, you know, there's this opportunity, okay, to have this fresh new start kind of energy. Uh, it's a lovely. I do think this person has a little emotional energy, but they kind of hold back a little. This is someone pretty logical and quite meticulous as well. They may see you that way as well, somebody who's uh, similar. But this is that waiting for that investment. Some of you need to be a little patient. It may take them a little time to come back around, but when they do, it'll come in as a surprise out of the blue. So very nice energy. So somebody who likely, likely works a lot or something as well. It's like a business owner or somebody who's just focused on uh, their career, that financial stability as well. But this is someone who's looking for a partner. Okay, that king and queen of pentacles energy, that power couple. Yeah, so king, we've got the emperor and the empress here. Very nice energy. Yeah, this person definitely sees your worth and your value. I feel like you both do. Okay, you're going to be, you know, talking and communicating with each other. Um, this is an energy of seeing your own worth and your own value. But this is your hopes and dreams. This person sees you as their hopes and dreams. And I feel like you're going to get what you want. You see yourself with this person in the future. Now, this is really nice energy. And I love it when I see the star with the two of cups, especially with this emperor and empress energy here. Uh, I feel like this is a very positive emperor too. Very stable, very reliable. This person's going to show you that you can rely on them. But they are a little slower moving. And I do feel two people communicating, seeing eye to eye, um, sort of lifting each other up, showing each other that, you know, you there's this, this energy of uh, respect, um, valuing each other, seeing each other's worth. OK, <laughs> nice. This is the hopes and dreams. So you're going to be waiting for this person It's telling you to be a little patient, but they will come in and make this offer. And there is some emotion attached to this. Two people sharing their feelings. Uh, this is going to kick off, and I do think it's going to be quite a surprise. Tell me about this tower. Yeah, see two people reciprocating back and forth. I think you're going to be surprised how generous this person is. Okay, I can see the reciprocity. Some of you are not feeling feeling it with this other person. I see their energy. So I do feel a little back-to-back -back, uh, making a decision. It's possible you have somebody who's coming towards you. Maybe the way they communicate originally. You might not even have that date. Um, if you do, it's not going to, uh, I feel like you're just not going to feel it. Okay. You, it's, it's that, be careful what you wish for. There's something that they're going to tell you uh, a little bit of a fib or just, a, they lack sincerity. I feel like they have, it's really is around insecurities, uh, but they come to you with lack. Okay. Um, so I would be a little cautious, be careful what you wish for, uh, with that one person, Pisces. Yeah, it looks like they're a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. I feel like you're going to end it with that person. Yeah, I feel like there's definitely an attraction with this other person. It's very, there's a physical attraction. This person's physically attracted, but they're taming the beast, you see, uh, staying strong. They are very confident. Uh, it's telling you to be brave, okay? Tame that beast, that need to rush into anything. You know, just sort of take it slow. It's very casual. I feel like the first date's casual, but I don't think this person's going to spare any expense. I think they're going to be quite generous. You see two people reciprocating here, you see, back and forth, sharing feelings, you know, sort of valuing each other, saying nice things. It's all that beautiful energy. Uh, two people, you know, there's, there's that hopes and dreams, a king and queen of pentacles energy, two people who, it's a power couple. Um, and I feel that it's an energy of just feeling comfortable with each other. Uh, likely you have definitely have things in common because of the King of Pentacles and Queen of Pentacles energy. Whether you have Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn in your chart, um, doesn't matter. It's the energy making each other feel comfortable by saying nice things, showing each other that worth and value, uh, mutual respect, things like that. <laughs> okay. It's being reciprocated. Lovely energy. Wow, Pisces. Just gonna, here we go. Yeah. So I do think you're going to find each other very attractive. Some of you are going to stop talking to one person. Uh, you're not interested. You're not feeling it. Uh, and then you're going to go towards the other. But I see the reciprocity. You're both. <laughs> there's definitely a physical attraction. So I see this taking off. Okay. But it's very much of that energy of kind of 
Now, keeping things a little simple at first, you know, no rushing. Uh, I feel there's this energy of just taking things a little bit slow before you move towards any kind of physical encounter. Uh, but I see this energy of moving towards success by doing really sweet things, saying nice things, you see, back and forth between each other. Uh, this is really nice, very sweet. Uh, it's, it's got that energy of sort of, you know, innocence. So I feel it's very grounded. Pisces, very grounded energy. I do see there is that emotional connection. You both want that. Uh, and I actually feel, though, like um, it's being reciprocated. But I feel like um, it's almost like an energy of you don't need a huge amount of that. Like there's something that's kind of just right between the two of you. Uh, just a little bit at a time, taking things slow. <laughs> and I do think you're going to move towards success here. Some of you may be single parents. Uh, maybe you're talking about having children in the future, things like that. But I see this person being very sweet, uh, picking you up, driving you home. Uh, lovely energy. Just, I think you're going to be doing really nice things for each other. It's possible this is somebody who owns some kind of business, maybe a car. Uh, they work on cars or, you know, car dealerships, something to do, something that makes them a fair bit of money. Uh, but they do see you as marriage material. They see you as grounded, practical, and someone who's focused on their money as well. You both have that energy. So they see you as somebody they could partner up with. But like I said, they're going to hold back a little. So very nice. Just going to dig into this Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, so there is questions. There is this energy of questions. This could be yourself. This could be this person. This is being very wise, okay? Taking it slow. Uh, you may communicate this, that you want to just take things slow till you're comfortable, okay? Or vice versa. I see that too. Just that energy of wisdom. Being discerning, asking questions, talking, communicating very clearly. It's about speaking that truth. But it's an energy of learning about each other as well. I feel like you need to learn a little bit more about this person. I see a little Aquarius energy. Uh, definitely some Libra energy in this in this reading as well. Uh, two people that, you know, are talking, communicating, uh, needing to know a little more and just taking it slow. Very nice. Yeah. So this is about tradition, habit, uh, belief and behavior, the way you conduct yourself. So uh, watch how you conduct yourself. I feel like you're going to learn and watch and kind of see how you each conduct yourself out in public as well. So very nice. You have some things in common. This is about being on the same page, questioning, you know, talking, just communicating and learning. Uh, so I do feel like you're going to be very wise. I feel like this person is too, uh, because it's in the heart of the reading. So I also see a little Gemini energy here as well for some of you. And that Taurus energy. I feel this person's a Taurus. They have their own way of doing things, uh, the way they conduct themselves. So very nice. Just hold back. They're taming the beast. This person knows. You know, they have those passions under control. They're not controlled by their passions. This is someone logical. Uh, I feel they will date you in a traditional manner as well. Very nice energy. Two people on the same page that kind of want the same things. You may discover that you have a lot of things in common, just the way you live your day-to-day -day life. All right, Pisces, that's your next person you're going to date. Um, this one up here I don't think is going to last long. You're going to sort of be on the fence uh, I do think that there's something this person communicates that's going to put you on that fence where you're going to make that decision, okay, whether you want to see this person again. It's something that you're you're seeing or hearing uh, that feels that there's something lacking, there's something not quite right, okay. And it could be a lot of things, but just watch for any kind of a mano emotional manipulation where they tell you a story to make you kind of feel sorry for them. Somebody who's a little bit on the needy side, possibly. Doesn't mean they're bad, but I do think this is someone telling you a bit of a fish tale. Uh, they're keeping something to themselves here. Okay, so I do think you're going to walk away. But as you walk away from them, you're going to move towards this other person. So very nice energy, Pisces. I wish you the best and we'll see you soon.